Welcome back to the Twitter Blue Room. We're here for the 2016 Sun Herald City Surf presented by Westpac. And I've got the great Shannon Ponton, Anytime Fitness, Canteen and McGrath Foundation Ambassador. Welcome. Wearing plenty of hats this time, mate. <laughs> you are. You are. You're quite the charity. Yeah, well, mate, it was a little bit funny because <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of a charity slut. And a slut. I, I, I didn't know quite what the charity etiquette was. Yeah. I didn't know whether you could sort of multi-hat. Have a and, lot. And, you know, when I said to the... Um, to the to the, the the bosses, like I said, I'm going to represent two charities. Said no, no, you can't do that. Yeah. But I sort of sat down with them, and, and thank goodness, um, common sense prevailed. Yeah, Canteen is a wonderful charity that looks after 12 to 24 year old kids that have yep. been affected by cancer, mate. Yep. Just brutal, and it oh, rips my heart yeah. out. Yeah. McGrath Foundation looks after ladies who have had breast cancer, the primary caregivers yep. in our society. Then yep. they deserve the opportunity for the best possible care and the most dignity if and when breast cancer comes. So there's no lap, and I'm proud to be representing two charities. Mate, good on you. It's, it's hard enough to sort of be an ambassador for one, to be able to spread yourself out, having kids of your own. Obviously, you know, you do a great job. Well, yep. this year's a, that's the big thing this year, mate. The hook is I'm running with my son, who's four, year, four years old. That's awesome. For that's... the first time. He reckons he's got a K in him. <laughs> now, you're a ball of energy. You're obviously, how old is four years old? You reckon he's going to do a K? Then you have to push him for another 13 K. How are you feeling for Literally it? Literally push him. I'm going to go, son, <laughs> if you don't run to the end, you're going to walk home tonight. That's he's a hard task and... master. How have you prepared? Have you been doing? Have you been joining the uh, the, the running mums in Centennial Park, pushing the pram around? <laughs> the personal training, Volvo driving <laughs> soccer mums on the northern beaches. Yes, with my pram and bouncing and look and comparing. Our Is that ladies. what you've been doing? No, mate. I have done a couple of runs with the Bob. You've done the Bob running prams. No, they're great, like the proper okay. Bob running prams. So it's got the you know the big spoke wheels. Oh and that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff yeah. There. Okay, it's a bit easier than using the old stroller that we had when we were kids. The little blue one from Woolies. I bet the wheels would fall off and you'd just end up in a heap on the floor. But it's a really exciting and I think um, being a, an active role model has already paid benefits to Max as I said he's only four he, I reckon he's got a K in him. He thinks he's got a K in him to run. But whatever I do, he wants to do. Yeah. You know, I don't ever tell him, Max, go and run a K and train. He goes, Dad, I want to run. Can we practice? And yep. and off he goes. So I think, you know, being the role model for him that I've always wanted to be yep. is going to raise him in the best possible stead. I think it's great, mate. I can't wait to have kids of my own and do exactly the same thing. Now, you're obviously well established in the fitness industry. How important is running in an event like this, like the City to Surf, for people with their goal setting and keeping fit and healthy? You know, I think having an absolute goal encourages people, almost it makes them yeah. get off the backside yep. and start training. Because, yep. you know, it's 14 tough kilometres, mate. Yeah, 14 kilometres is There's, there's of many hills. hills and that sort of <laughs> stuff. It's pretty bloody brutal, yeah. the city to surf. And it's like anything. If you underprepare, yeah. it's going to be tough. You're going to get out there and you're going to hate yourself. If you get out there and rip into training before the event, you prepare properly, you're going to have a fantastic time on the day, particularly if you're beating times that you've done in the past. Yeah. Because success always makes you want more success, you know. Yeah. But for me, the city to surf it is the complete equation. And we spoke about it before, you know. I love health and fitness. You guys know that I've dedicated my entire life to it. So the health, fitness, and even um, psychological benefits you get are unquestionable but now being an ambassador for two charities it's the final part of the equation you know i'm raising money for for kids and ladies who i might never meet yeah but knowing what i'm doing is going to create a legacy and help lessen the impact on their on their illness when cancer comes you know so for me it's mind yeah body definitely the yep. benefit from training everyone knows you feel better you look better yep. but the final part of the equation is it's good for your soul you get to help people mate I think it's absolutely fantastic what did you say how much money they raising 28 million since they started raising money in 2007 28 they've million dollars raised, it's going to change people's lives forever mate, mate they've nearly great. raised 5 million dollars this year alone yeah, it's, it's absolutely mate. phenomenal and you're one of the gold runners gold charity runners one of the 900 gold charity runners got the gold charity runner it's, does that mean I'm out in front no unfortunately we've got the red pack go first and then you're behind the red pack <laughs> I just want to raise something with you have you done it you've done the city to surf if I'd done it this year it would have been my 15th okay I want to implement something do you know there's always those people that don't run very fast and they put themselves at the front yes yes <laughs> and they run 100 metres and they stop and they walk and they're a pain in the <laughs> ass, for want of a better term to everybody else there it's just not please don't do that this year because I'm going to introduce a rule now here's what happens if you're if one of those 
group that you shouldn't be in. You know you're not going to run four minute Ks. You've never run a. And whoever runs past you can slap you on the back of the head. You get a target on your back. Just on, just a, not hard because I don't want anyone causing grievous bodily harm. And, and I'm not advocating violence, but it's just a little reminder I love that. that next time you should actually go in the group that's appropriate for you, so you don't put anybody else on. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. So it's just a little love tap on the back. But once you have fifty thousand of them, you're going to realise that your place is at the back, and you'll enjoy it a lot more next year. If you get a love tap on the back of your head, just know it was Shannon Ponton. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs>